Well, hello everybody. Um, I built an ultimate image uh, for the Raspberry Pi 3 that contained uh, several features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, QT5, OpenGL, uh, Node.js, and GPIO. I used the um, uh, BuildRoot op um, post-build uh, script in order to copy some predefined script to the target and this will be included already on the uh, root file system for example file like interfaces for the network the plus supplicant for the Wi-Fi uh, updated a config and a command line for the kernel uh, root parameters and uh, some GPI or LED blink uh, script. So everything begin with um, with the configuration uh, of BuildRoot. So let's go quickly on the on the bullets here and the toolchain. Normally I'm using external toolchain. Um, it faster and it, it has it all. This is, by the way, the 32-bit version of a uh, Raspberry Pi 3, and not the 64. Um, other than that, um, we have the Mesa 3D VC4 a driver for the OpenGL, and then we supply a uh, specified OpenGL and OpenGL e ES for embedded system. Qt5. Um, we want to compile examples. Um, I added Qt Lite. Uh, this is the OpenGL uh, uh, driver and OpenGL EGL EFS uh, support. Also, we want some GIF and we want the declarative uh, Qt Quick Controls. For the QML, um, we need uh, to add a keyboard for the Qt5 using the uh, Xorg driver. This is the only thing that we need here, um, and that's it. This is summarized the Qt5. I already did a video about it, but this will give you um, in the build root uh, environment everything you need to get Qt5 working with BuildRoot on Raspberry Pi 3. Um, for um, GPIOs, we can uh, enable the BCM2835 uh, and if you want, we can use the uh, wiring API. This is um, different or new interface using the GPIOs other than the SysFS uh, uh, GPIO Sys class okay what else uh, WPA supplicant okay this is the uh, those are the tools for um, uh, to connect to the Wi-Fi. Uh, for that, we need the um, the firmware. Mm -hmm. Firmware. Okay, firmware. We need the Bluetooth firmware, the uh, Raspberry firmware, and the Wi Fi firmware. And so the WPA supplicant will work with um, Wi Fi firmware. The Bluetooth needs the Blue J. Blue J. Okay, Blue J5 utils. 
this is for the uh, Bluetooth and some editors uh, also we need to increase the image uh, because we have a lot of uh, a lot of packages here and that's it that is from especially from the build root um, so now let's go about some configuration first of all when I ran uh, Qt5 there is a problem with the Qhash CPP so I need to add an ARM feature uh, CRC32 you can find an example um, here the, in the root of um, of my GitHub, you can find what to do with uh, Q hash CPP. Just add undef arm um, feature CRC32. This is one. So this will help you to compile the uh, Qt5. Okay, about the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi need a correct and uh, latest uh, WP suffix and conf. The file for the configuration is here, and what I did, I just um, I put it on the root WPA supplicant conf, and this is how it should be. And this is working. You just change your um, SSID and PSK password. This is for WPA, and this is very important the root. The group is root. Everywhere you can find the group, group is PI for Raspberry, but in Bezos, the root ID is group, root, so it should be group, root. And this WP supplicant does work and do the job. What also is important for the Wi Fi is the interfaces. This file will be copied to a target uh, ETC network and override the interfaces. This is the, um, the file that should be uh, used uh, for the Wi-Fi. Um, please note that this is the uh, SSID and this is the password and this file will uh, enable uh, Wi-Fi working under a build root with two uh, Raspberry Pi 3. What else? The Bluetooth. Okay, I did a video about it, but this is a summary of what I did. I changed the Bluetooth uh, BlueJay Utils MK file to version the latest one for uh, 5.45 uh, delete the hash file hash, hash file in order to compile it again and also I add RF kill in the busy box using the make busy box menu config and to the profile let's see the profile to the profile, I add I added a script called ATI attach. For some reason, I needed to run it twice. Don't know why. But first time it failed, and second time it succeeded. Um, so this is a workaround. Um, so this is uh, in the profile, this is the ETC ACI and those export are for the uh, Qt5 in order to work. The enable terminal keyboard will allow us to do control C and exit application. Um, this one will be enabled automatically, but it's nice to have the EGLS, FS, KMS is the VC4 
integration uh, for the Qt5, it, this um, uh, configuration of Qt5 with the VC4 works better for what I seen than uh, 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 okay so. If you put this in uh, uh, variable, you will be able to get a Qt5 example working fine, and everything will work, including the uh, maroon example, which is uh, a game that is very uh, complicated and uh, shows you a lot of uh, the feature of Qt5. Okay, so let's go over it. Um, Qt5, okay. Qt5, we need to add a, a, a device tree overlay. A, this device tree overlay. So, so I added the device tree overlay in, uh, in the config.txt and this file will be copied to the uh, overwrite the DT overlay and also um, I add uh, GP, uh, the GPU memory for the 1 mega for 256 1 giga for 256 mega uh, see what is going yeah. okay so I copy the config txt to the output images RPI the post build Here it is, and also the CMD line. The CMD line, I removed um, the AMA0 and added CMA128. This is for the Bluetooth. Let's go to the Bluetooth again. Um, by the way, if you do HCI config minus A, you should see the um, the Bluetooth device, the HCI device. Okay, the final thing is for the GPIO. Um, I created a script. That blink and this script using the GPIO. By the way, um, from where did this one came? If we go to here, we can search for GPIO, and this one is a tool. GPIO's collection of tools to get information about the GPIO, and this this GPIO work with the wiring PI. So we can use the CCFS class or the, uh, or the wiring PI. This is, uh, I didn't notice any change, it's almost working the same. So we can GPIO export 23, it's actually a wiring PI 4. The wiring PI and uh, the wiring PI numbering and the CCFS numbering, the GPIO number are different. Uh, you can find it uh, anywhere, and this script will just toggle uh, this 23 DPIO.
Um, that's it. Um, yeah, hopefully it will help you to um, enable all those features um, in Raspberry Pi 3 using um, build root. Thank you very much and have a good evening, whatever.